Hey guys, so today's going to be a voiceover because when I do more like of these non-wearable looks, it's just easier for me to explain this way. And this look is actually inspired by this picture that I found on Instagram by Milk1422. So I'm going to try to recreate that using the Hard Candy palette here, using the yellow, and also the NYX Ultimate Brights palettes, mostly just using the yellow out of this palette as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm just using concealer for this and I'm going to set that down with powder. And then I'm going to take the yellow from the NYX palette and lay that down first, just all over the lid. So I'm picking up the yellow shade from the Hard Candy palette. I've never used this brand before or this palette before, so I just wanted to lay that right on top of the NYX eyeshadow. And I think it did actually give me a little bit more coverage, a little bit more intensity. I think it was a little bit darker, so it added some dimension there as well. So I'm just going to lay that right on top of the previous shade. Next, I'm going to go in with a winged eyeliner, but I'm not going to fill it in as you'll see here because in the picture it's actually blue on the inside, so I'm going to leave it open like this just for now. Alright, next I'm going to put on foundation. I already primed my skin. I've done my foundation routine in the last few videos, so I will link those down below if you want to see what I do here. So in the reference photo, um, the face is super tanned and bronzed. So this is the fun part. I'm taking the Benefit um, Liquid Do The Hula, I believe, and I'm bringing this up like onto my cheeks like where you would normally put blush just so that it looks like we got really tan really dark in these areas bringing it on the nose and on the forehead as well i even put a little bit on the chin and i'm going pretty heavy with this and putting on multiple layers and then we'll be use powder bronzer and contour to darken it up a little bit later So I'm actually going to go in with my Mayron Paints palette and I'm going to take the blue shade to fill in my eyeliner. I tried using a eyeshadow but it wasn't as intense or as dark as I wanted it to so I'm just going to use my paints here. Alright, so I'm going to take the Benefit Brow Pencil here and just kind of give my eyebrows a light shading because what I want to do is pick up a brown shade from my Mayron Paints palette and really make the brows fluffy and dark and intense just so that it looks as close to the reference picture as possible. Um, like I said in the beginning, this isn't really a wearable look. This is just kind of an artsy look, so I didn't really mind going crazy with paints on the brows. So I'm pretty much just following the natural shape of my eyebrows. I just am adding a lot more um, hairs, I suppose, and making them look super fluffy, just kind of fluffing it all out, not being really afraid of how the brows look because I want them to look like the picture. So back in the NYX palette, I'm going to pick up these two green shades and do the lower waterline. I already added yellow to the bottom, so just put green right on top and add some eyeliner in the waterline there as well. So I'm picking up the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm picking up the darkest shade which I normally would never do but for this look like I've been saying we want to look like we've been out in the sun. So I'm just going to put that right on top of where we did the liquid bronzer. Then I'm going to take the butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and just go right on top of that on the outer portions of my face, around my jawline, just really bronze as much as you can I feel like. I'm going to take Luminoso by Milani. This is a blush and it's going to just kind of flush our face with that pink, making it look mo even more like we've been out in the sun, kind of more tan, kind of a little bit more dark. And it also is going to add a pretty sheen to the cheeks as well. All right, so heading back into the Mayron Paints palette and that same really small brush, I'm going to go ahead and give myself freckles. I've never done this before, so take it easy. I'm just doing small little dots everywhere, and I found that at first I tried to kind of spread them out, but then I kind of realized that the more you put together, the more misshapen they are, the more natural they look, and we need a lot for this look, so I just kind of went crazy with it.
In the picture, the face also has these white dots above the eyes. So again, I'm just taking white paint from my Mayron palette and making little dots. I went over it twice just so it was a little bit more intense. For the lips, I just took kind of a different mixture of a lot of different pinks and reds that I had and just tapped it on my lips so that it wasn't too intense. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of messy, which is kind of the look I wanted to go for. I didn't want it to be too precise. So I just kind of tapped everything along. Here's a little progress picture here for you. All right, so here is where I'm unsure. So in the picture, the face has really long lower lashes and you could have just gone the easy route and put on fake lower lashes, like glued them on. But I wanted to, um, draw them on and then here i'm gonna try to cover them up with mascara it looks fine from far away but in person i was just like okay i shouldn't have done that so um your choice in the photo um the person is also super like glowy and almost glassy looking so we're gonna draw on that effect so on the nose i do two larger kind of squares draw a curved line down the nose and then two small dots at the bottom to make the nose look super shiny Same thing for the lips, I just kind of copied the shapes that were on the picture to make it look like we have really glossy lips. So to actually make us really shiny, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Crushed Pearl. and making the nose really shine especially the tip and then same thing on the cheeks and just adding a little bit here and then just slap it on some gloss so that we actually do have that gloss effect on the lips as well i think i did pretty well pretty close i think the cheeks needed to be a little bit darker but that's okay <laughs> so that's it don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video see you guys soon bye